In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with you all of us. My brothers and sisters, we continue the reading of the Bible. We just arrived to the chapter 21st of the book of Genesis. This is about the birth of Isaac. My dear friends, may God bless us. I am Marie Louise Omomararungu. The Lord blessed Sarah, Sarah as he had promised, and she became pregnant and bore a son to Abraham when he was old. The boy was born at the time God had said to, that he would, born. he would be born. Abraham named him Isaac, and with, when Isaac was eight days old, Abraham circumcised him as God has commanded. Abraham was a hundred years old when Isaac was born. Sarah said, God has brought me joy and laughter. Every, everyone who he hears about it will laugh with me. Then she added, who would have said to Abraham that Sarah would nurse ch children? Yet I have borne him a son on his old age. The child grew, and, and on the day that he was weaned, Abraham gave a great feast. Hagar and Ishmael are sent away. One day Ishmael, whom Hagar, the Egyptian, had born to Abraham, was playing with Sarah's son Isaac. Sarah saw them and said to Abraham, Send this slave and her son away. The son of, of this woman must not get any part of, of your wealth which my son Isaac should inherit. This troubled, troubled, troubled Abraham very much because Ishmael was also his son. But God said to Abraham, Don't be worried about the boy and your slave Hagar. Do whatever Sarah tells you because it is through Isaac that you will have the descendants I have promised. I will also give many children to the son of the slave woman so that they will become a nation. 
he too is your son. Early the next morning, Abraham gave Hagar some food and a leather bag full of water. He put the child on her back and sent her away. She left and wandered about in the wilderness of Beersheba. When the water was all gone, she left the child under a bush and sat down about a hundred meters away. She said to herself, I can't bear to see my child die. While she was sitting there, she began to cry. God heard the boy crying, and from heaven, the angel of God spoke to her girl. What are you, tr- what are you troubled about, her girl? Don't be afraid. God has heard the boy crying. Get up, go, and back him, and pick him up, and comfort him. I will make a great nation out of his descendants. Then God opened her eyes and she saw a wall, a wall. She went and filled the leather bag with the water and gave some to the boy. God was with the boy as he grew up. He lived in the wilderness of Paran and became a skillful, a skillful hunter. His mother found an Egyptian wife for him. The agreement between Abraham and Abimelech. At that time, Abimelech went with Fikor, Fikor, the commander of his army and said to Abraham, God is with you in everything you do. So make a vow here in the presence, in the presence of God that you will not deceive me, my children or my descendants. I have been loyal to you, so promise that you will also be loyal to me and to this country in which you are living. Abraham said, I promise. Abraham complained to Abimelech about a whale which the servant of Abimelech had seized. seized. Abimelech said, I don't know who did this. You didn't tell me about it. And this is the first I ha- I have heard of it. Then Abraham gave some sheep and cattle to Abimelech, and the two of them made an agreement. Abraham separated sa- seven lambs from his flocks, and Abimelech asked him, "Why did you do that?" Abraham answered accepted these seven lambs by doing this you admit that i'm the one who dug this well and so the place was called beersheba because it was there and that the two of them made a vow after they had made this agreement at Beersheba, Abimelech and the Picos went back to Philistia. Then Abraham planted a ta- tamarisk tree in Beersheba and he worshipped the God, the Lord, the everlasting God. Abraham lived in Palestine in Philistia for a long time. God commands Abraham to offer Isaac. This is chapter 22 of the book of Genesis. 
Some time later, God tested Abraham. He called to him, Abraham, and uh, Abraham answered, Yes, here I am. Take your son, God said, you only, your only son, Isaac, whom you love so much, and you go to the land of Moria. They are on a mountain that I will show you, offer him as a sacrifice to me. Early the next morning, Abraham cut some wood for the sacrifice, loaded his donkey, and took Isaac and two servants with him. He started out of the place that God had told them, him about. On the third day, Abraham saw the place in the distance. Then he said to the servants, Stay here with the donkey. The boy and I will go over there and worship, and then we will come back to you. Abraham made Isaac carry the wood for the sacrifice. And he himself carried a knife and a leaf core for leaf core for starting the fire. As they walked along together, Isaac said, "Father," he answered, "Yes, my son." Isaac asked, "I see that you have the coals and the wood, but where is the lamb for the sacrifice?" Abraham answered, God himself will provide one. And the two of them walked on together. When they came to the place which God had told him about, Abraham built an altar and arranged the wood on it. He tied up his son and placed him on the altar on the top of the wood. Then he, he picked up the knife to kill him, but the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham. He answered, yes, here I am. Don't hurt the boy or do anything to him, said. Now I know that you honor and obey God because you have not kept back your only son from him. Abraham looked around and saw a ram caught in the bush by its horns. He went and got it and offered it as a burnt offering instead of his son. Abraham named that place the Lord provides. And even today, people say on the Lord's mountain, he provides. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham for heaven a second time. I make a vow by my own name, the Lord is speaking, that I will richly bless you. Because you did this and did not keep back your only son for me, I promise that I will give you as many descendants as they are star, as they are stars in the sky, or grains of the sun along the seashore, seashore. Your descendants will conquer their enemies. All the nations will ask me to bless them as I have blessed your descendants or because you obeyed my command. Abraham went back to his servants, and they went together to Beersheba, where Abraham settled. The descendants of Nahor. Some time later, Abraham learned that Milka had born eight children to his brother Nahor, who was the, the firstborn, who was his brother, Kimwe, the father of Aram, Chest, Hazor, Pildash, 
Gildraf and Bethuel, Debekah's father. Mirkah bore this eight son to Nahor, Abraham's brother. Dema Nahor concubine, Bo, Teba, Gama, Tash, and Ma, Ma, Maka. The word of God. My brothers and sisters, we have to know our God is a merciful God. He will ask you something when he knows that he has an answer more than what you can imagine. You only show him that you have that heart of obeying him. He himself will provide. Hallelujah. May God bless us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.